Uh, Amit, uh, thank you again for speaking to us. And I can understand this is a very traumatic uh, time for you. I'm sorry to make you recount, you know, your experience. But it's important for us to know if you can tell us what happened that day. So the, the day of the party, we've, uh, we've been there since the, the night between Friday and Saturday morning. Uh, we've been dancing to beautiful beats. Uh, we, we celebrated life, love in a very beautiful, peaceful festival. Everybody was very happy, extremely happy, I would say. Even though we we're very close to the Gaza border, we felt secured because there was so many security around us. Um, and suddenly at uh, half past 6 a.m., while the sun didn't even rise yet, uh, we, had, we, we realized music stopped and missiles are in the air. And the security told us to bend over, to lie on the ground, to cover our heads, and we realized we are under attack. Um, everybody was extremely puzzled. Uh, no one really knew what to do besides of what we're regular to do, unfortunately, here in Israel. We've been regular to uh, missile attacks. I'm living in the coastal plains of Israel, and although uh, I'm quite away from Gaza, I'm about 60 kilometers away from the Gaza Strip, um, still, the missiles are hitting uh, my my area as well from time to time when the Gazans are doing so. And I'm emphasizing the Gazans and I'm not emphasizing Hamas. Hamas basically is like ISIS. It's a terror organization and everybody should remember their brutality. Anyways, uh, we've ran to our car. It took a while. Even the, the, the car didn't even started yet. Um, I've managed to use my tour guide skills uh, and to escape uh, uh, the terror. Um, me and three other friends, uh, we've jumped into my vehicle, we've made our way back to the road, and we started to run for our life. We actually didn't realize this is a run for life. We thought we were just escaping missiles and we're trying to find a protected area, possibly a safe room, a concrete wall, anything that we can hide below. Uh, we didn't know, we only learned later that the festival... Uh, People had been gunned down from blank position, from, from face to face. They had nothing to defend themselves. And the unfortunate results we all know today. It took me a while to learn that because I was focused on the escape and also focused on trying to learn what happened to my dear friends. Adir and Shiraz Tamam and the friends that was with them in the car, Celine, they were all murdered most likely by the terrorists. We only have evidence of Adir being killed. We found his body recently and he was buried yesterday. It was terrible. To bury your best friend is nothing that you can prepare for. The wife had not been located yet. Uh, we have uh, no faith, unfortunately. Most likely she died as well and they left behind 10 years old and 7 years old daughters. My request for you guys in India and anyone else that uh, see this uh, broadcast, please help this poor family as we need to support the daughters of my friends. There is a GoFundMe, so GoFundMe 283-69701. Please contribute as much as you can to help this family. Celine, another person that was in their car, is still missing. We don't know what happened to her. She was still breastfeeding her six-month-old, and we're looking for some good news look forward. I, I, I can't assure anything because every day we get bad news and bad news, and funeral after funeral, and we are already a week after this terror attack had started. My hopes is this would not be happening again. In Israel, we always say never again. We will land it from the history. We are a nation that exists for more than 3,000 years. A nation that rise and fell, rise and fell, and this is what we call the third house, the third temple. As we've built our society, the state of Israel, in the same time India received its independency, we got our independency. Our fortune is so similar, fighting with haters.